Hi friends, uh, today we will be explaining about uh, diesel cycle. Uh, this is the theoretical base or background on which a diesel engine is uh, designed. This was derived by uh, Mr. Rudolf Diesel and uh, that is why it is called diesel cycle. Okay, and uh, let's see uh, how uh, the theoretical concept and how actually a diesel engine is working. This is a thermodynamic cycle which has various uh, thermodynamic processes. So let's uh, deal with the theoretical concept first. Um, this is a uh, PV uh, diagram or graph, or pressure volume graph. On the X coordinate, we have a volume, and on the Y coordinate, we have pressure. So initially, they are saying that in the first stage, the concept is that the cylinder is full of air. That means this is a cylinder, and we have the piston at BDC. That is, the cylinder is full of air, and from two to three, as the piston moves from sorry one to two, piston moves from uh, one to two. What happens? Adiabatic compression of air is happening. That piston moves from uh, BDC to TDC. The adiabatic compression of air is happening. Air gets uh, compressed adiabatically. Adiabatically means in theory it is uh, implying that no heat transfer is involved. I mean it is a theoretical concept. Practically there will be a difference. So um, no heat transfer is involved in this theoretical concept in the second process. Adiabatic compression of air and two to three adiab uh, combustion of air is happening. Okay, and uh, it is uh, a constant pressure process. You can see the pressure is constant over here in two to three, and the combustion happens over there. And from 3 to 4 again adiabatic expansion of air is happening and this process no heat is involved uh, as per theory. And 4 to 1 the exhaust is happening. So that is how uh, the theoretical uh, background of diesel cycle has been explained. But actually uh, there is a small difference when uh, uh, the diesel engine works because there is no adiabatic processes involved uh, when a diesel engine works because uh, there are limitations. We, we cannot design an engine completely uh, without a heat uh, transfer process. So what happens is that from 1 to 2 the intake process is happening, 2 to 3 compression process is happening that means uh, the air is getting compressed then at the end the fuel gets injected and the combustion process is a constant pressure combustion process is happening from 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 again the expansion process is happening and 5 to 1 the exhaust is happening so that is why suction compression combustion and ex exhaust is happening uh, in a diesel engine so this is how the theoretical concept of a diesel cycle evolved in the result uh, of making a diesel engine in the actual concept so i hope you understand uh, the working of diesel cycle uh, thank you